Guys, today I'm going to show you more than a dozen strong masculine fragrances. Number one, Montal Intense Pepper. Actually, it has oud in it mixed with black pepper and some lemon, making it a fresh, stark, spicy, peppery fragrance. Oh, and you can wear a clothes like this with it, and you can wear a suit like a gentlemanly fragrance. I think of the movie Blade Runner like a futuristic. Look at this bottle. Anyway, it, the, the central, the projection on this is outstanding. The next fragrance is for those of you on a budget, Bentley Man Intense. If you were sitting in a Bentley, you would have leather seats, you might have some cognac, you might have some tobacco. That's all the smells that come out of this fragrance. Incredible longevity on this too for the price that it costs. The next fragrance is so strong, it's our room filler. Beware, only spray one shot, maybe two. It's called His Highness Green. It's a very much green, earthy fragrance with lots of saffron and oud as well. Resembles Creed Royal Oud. The next fragrance is Superstar for older people as well, is what I will say. Uh, if you're like 40 and on your fragrance journey and you've had all these fragrances you can think of and you've never tried this Chanel Anateas, I don't recommend blind buying it, but I would recommend if you're daring to own the bottle and then just acquire the taste for this. It's lemon, lime, spicy, coriander powerhouse from the 80s. And this is how I did it. I had been on a fragrance journey and I had all the cool fragrances, the Chanel Blue, the this, the Aqua Di Gio, the Carolina Herreras. And then I was looking for something new and I blind bought it. And to this day, you know, my, my girlfriend didn't like it back then when I was wearing it. She goes, wow, that's so strong. And I did have to acquire taste and I still have this bottle. I might have did another bottle and sold it or something. I only did half the bottle. To this day, it's, it's so strong. I don't have any place where I could wear it actually. But if you want to experience this, I would totally recommend it. It's a beautiful fragrance. Another beautiful fragrance on the flip side, it's citrusy and elegant. It's called Artisan by Jean Barbados. You have some nice different different varieties of orange notes coming in here, making it masculine as well. You, smelling delicious. And you can wear this in all sorts of upscale events and hot weather. And I think you can pull this off, especially in the fall weather when it's not too hot outside. Artisan looks pretty cool bottle with the wicker. Here's a fragrance that's like a niche style fragrance. By the way, what else is a strongest masculine fragrance? Comment down below. Then don't say Polo, don't say Kuros, and don't say Fahrenheit. <laughs> Next fragrance is called Bottega Veneta. This is like a fragrance that has some citrus in it some pepper in it and leather and it's like in a niche quality fragrance it's so gorgeous but the projection and the performance isn't all there but the scent is there you will love it it's about three to five hours five hours if you spray heavy with this bottega veneta i would recommend it if you wanted to experience a niche quality fragrance on a budget next fragrance don't ever say this but i have to show you fahrenheit cologne if you can get away from the gas this is the cologne version. I'm talking about the Eau de Toilette. I just didn't find the bottle. Either one's good. This one is not as strong with that gas note. This is more easy to wear, but Fahrenheit's an awesome Hall of Fame masculine fragrance that's knocking them dead to this day. And that means the sales on Fahrenheit are through the roof to this day. It starts out like this gasoline note and people always say this oil fragrance but after that it's beautiful like you've never smelled before very masculine chamomile and citruses mixed together mmm fahrenheit's the bomb baby another fragrance that i guess got emailed from is called rare carbon so this viewer your friend your brother your nephew we'll, go, we'll just call him our one of our viewers emails me and he shows me this text here's the text he's a musician and he said thank you for coming the girl said oh i love your music by the way you smelled amazing and he and he told me he was wearing six sprays of this thing called rare carbon which smells like tom ford ombre leather then she continues to say there's just something about a man who smells so sexy after that text he got he instantly went on the website also emailed me and picked up three or four bottles of this fragrance and he says six sprays last for 
six to ten hours the projections out of this world he just he, this is his signature scent so if you want to smell like leather and it's on a budget it's less than forty dollars try rare or carbon the next fragrance that's very cool it's called hindu kush and that means that all the things that are around the hindu kush area which is a mountain region in afghanistan and such areas of that part of the world is in here and that could be and it is slight touches of cannabis and green notes there is some vanilla in here it's a very interesting out of this world masterpiece and it turns creamy and spicy and smoky that's the best part it's smoky and it lingers in the room hours and hours later i mean ugh, five hours later whoever was wearing this you can still smell them in the room for those of you who want something like pear and sweet and masculine try john paul gote ultra male and then they also have a clone that i found it's called 9 p.m. Look that up. The next fragrance is Dolce Gabbana, the one. Eau de Toilette. No. Eau de Parfum, yes. And this one's also Dolce Gabbana, the one. Eau de Parfum Intense 2020 edition. And why do I like this? It's a fruity masculine fragrance, different from the Eau de Parfum, but the longevity for my skin was 10 to 12 hours. Incredible. I love this. Then you have this one. Chanel Allure Homme Sport which gives you mint inside here and vanilla and it's just sexy I sprayed it on this morning and I'll spray it again and I'll wear it today it's one of my favorite fragrances it's people love to hate on popular fragrances so you'll see all sorts of reviews and I'm telling you this smells good for all ages 25 to 45 especially you'll love Allure Homme sport the extreme version right here is the extreme version and if you like the regular version you can find versace perom to smell like it then this one here is very cool too l'homme edl the intense version by gear lang if you like almond notes with some spices covered in a light sprinkle of vanilla tonka undertone oh my god it's so gentlemanly do you have any experiences with any of these fragrances here please comment down below your uncle chris will see you on the next video peace and love